Hey, what's going on guys? We are talking Toyota iRoad. And you're probably like, what the heck's a Toyota iRoad? Well, it's a concept vehicle from Toyota that's kind of been a concept for three or four years now. Hasn't hit the market. Uh, not even sure it's going to hit the market here in the US. But it's a three-wheeled vehicle, fully electric. And uh, I mean, it drives like a car, but it feels like a motorcycle. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Give me some comments and let's go ahead and click that seatbelt because we're gonna go for a ride in this new Toyota iRoad. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe Bacall. We are throwing it sideways today, and we are throwing it sideways in a Toyota iRoad. Well, sort of. Actually, I tried to throw it sideways, but it's just, it won't do it. And we're talking something that maybe you've heard of, maybe you haven't. It's been around a little bit, kind of more on the media and press side. It's not for sale currently in the US, or I don't even think in Japan. It's it's full production, it's ready to go, but I just, I don't think they're ready to sell here, especially here in the US. Uh, I spent a lot of time over probably three or four years now doing uh, events, ride and drives, uh, driving it on stage, racing, uh, you know, celebrities like Jay Leno. And uh, you know, it's, a, it, it's just so different and unique. It's rear steer, front drive, um, goes about 37 mile an hour top speed, 30 mile, 30 miles to uh, a charge in your regular 110 socket, leans about 26 and a half degrees left to right. It's just bizarre. It's nothing you've ever experienced before. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I probably have the most time in it uh, from anyone here in the US. And uh, you know, if you leave me some comments, ask me some questions about it, because you know, I'd love to share my experience with it. Hopefully it comes to the US. I just don't know if it's going to. So check out some of this stuff that I put together and uh, you know, hope you like it. So one of the really cool things I got to do was race Jay Leno on Jay Leno's garage uh, in the Toyota iRoad. And uh, he was kind of tripping out at first. Uh, you know, we raced at uh, the headquarters in, in LA at, uh, at uh, Toyota Motor Sales in Torrance. And I was asked to put together a course uh, in the parking lot and uh, you know, Jay rolls up and He's like, oh, I'll help you, you know, set up the course and this and that. I'm like, it's all good, Jay. You can hang out here and, and uh, we'll have it done in no time. But uh, super nice guy. And I uh, actually got to ride Harleys with him at one point to Sturgis for a week, uh, quite a few years before that. But uh, uh, yeah, check out this video. It's pretty cool. In concept right now and the demonstration programs that are in Europe and Japan are very controlled. So the vehicle will continue to evolve. Joe, I imagine as a racer, you want to figure out how to get this thing up to 110, 120 <laughs> miles an hour. I've driven a lot of cool cars over the years, and this is just so different and so much fun. What do we have here? Some sort of gyroscopic effect that allows it to... That's exactly what it is. We call it the active lean technology. Okay. And your steering comes from the rear. It's almost like a rudder. And actually, the chief engineer of the iRoad is an avid snow skier. Right. So you'll notice when it moves, it almost has the uh, movement of like a skier going downhill. Literally, you just drive it, turn it, and it just leans over, what, 26 and a half degrees left to right? Half. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's actually super easy to drive, but mm -hmm. you still feel like you're on a, motorcycle, on a motorcycle. But you also have the comfort of a, a vehicle like a car because you're right. covered from the elements. And when I've driven her in the rain before, and she does great. And, and you and I will compete? That's, that's what it well, sounds that's like. fair. You're a professional <laughs> racer. You've had, been working on this thing for years, and I'll get in it for the first time. Yeah, that'll be a fair race. Sure, sure. We ended up on this little race course, timing each other with our cell phones, and uh, you know he was fast. Um, he actually had a different technique. He was he wasn't touching the brakes at all, and I was hitting the brakes super hard in the corners and going to wide open throttle. But what was happening was I was getting a little bit of uh, scrub out of it, and the system would activate and slow me down. So my uh, acceleration was definitely slow so we were going back and forth on time and uh, it was super cool so one of the other cool things I got to do in the Toyota I road was um, the the grand opening of the main headquarters in Plano Texas and uh, you know, I got to drive Nasty Lucan out in, uh, in a tundra 
I got to teach um, Jim Lentz how to drive the iRoad on stage and kind of in front of all the media. We actually got to drive uh, through the hallways in the building and it was just, it was crazy all the fun little things we got to do. Um, but uh, we actually did a choreographed drive through like the uh, inside area of uh, the headquarters where there's all these little uh, plants and, and little walkways and things like that. So it was pretty stressful because we had all the media. It was a live show and uh, it, all, it all came out really well. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, you can see this was on the news here in Plano. Uh, but yeah, it was super cool. So we also do a lot of really cool things like events um, for, for different types of ride drives and things like that. And one of them was in Aspen when we launched the, uh, the iRoad there for uh, the Aspen Ideas Festival. Uh, we also put together this really cool little um, experience for people to drive. We had a lot of media out there and, and uh, different uh, higher ups to uh, to check out how this new iRoad actually works on the road. You can see they actually had a lot of fun, and uh, you know this is the kind of uh, thing that uh, my company JT Grant Limited puts together for a lot of companies. So when uh, you know Ted asked us to do a lot of different events and. Uh, media uh, things with um, the iRoad, and one of them was in Detroit. I mean, we were just all over the country doing things. You can see here, uh, obviously a lot of cameras on us, um, you know, interviews, things like that. And, uh, you know, I just had a lot of time uh, behind the wheel for one, but uh, I brought in my, my pro drivers to help me out here. We had some fun doing this um, for another event. It's such a cool vehicle, it's so fun to drive. It's so different and it just gets so much attention, uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is the kind of stuff that we do. You know, look at how this thing parks. I mean, you just, you want a parallel park? Okay, you just pop it right in that spot. Uh, that rear wheel steer just makes it so easy to get in and out of tight places. Um, you can see in this area um, that I set up, I just hit reverse, you know, it comes right out of that uh, little, little super tight spot. Um, but you can park it anywhere, it just, it goes, you know, any little crevice here and there, I mean, you're gonna have a place to park it. So let's talk about inside of the vehicle. I mean, both doors open, both windows go down. There is nothing extra. There's no AC, anything like that. It just takes too much energy. Um, but look at that steering wheel. It looks like a Toyota Camry. I mean, it feels like you're driving a Camry when you're in it, uh, and it until it starts to lean like a motorcycle. So it's just the most bizarre thing having the rear steer. Um, and, the, and, and the lean uh, at 26 and a half degrees. So um, I can't explain it to you because it's that different. It just doesn't even make sense when you drive it. Um, you know, people compare it to uh, uh, maybe jet skiing or things like that. And you know, it has some similarities, but uh, until you drive it, you know, it's, it's really one of a kind. You know, I like the fact that you can just plug this thing right in. I mean, park it practically anywhere into regular 110 and three hours later, it's fully charged. You know, one of the things I like about this iRoad is you can put a passenger in the back and people are like, what, how is that even possible? Uh, but you can, you have to straddle uh, the driver. I've given all kinds of rides uh, over the years just because uh, most people weren't allowed to drive it. Uh, but I would take people for rides and they're just like, this thing's insane. Um, it definitely was hard to get in and out, uh, but two adults actually fit in this, in this vehicle and uh, pretty comfortably once you're all kind of tucked in. One of the amazing things about the Toyota iRoad is the way it sounds. I'm like, you know, check this out. One of my pro drivers like, go ahead and start it up. And uh, it sounds just like the LFA. I don't get it, right? Perfect, exactly the same. Well, it's built at the same plant in Japan, so why wouldn't it, right? So that's a Toyota iRoad. Hopefully you kind of, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. This is my experience um, over the years, driving it, uh, doing some pretty fun stuff with it. I hope it comes here to the US. And uh, I mean, people ask me, you know, what's it like to drive maybe compared to like, I don't know, LFA. Well, they're completely different. But at the end of the day, they're so, they're both so cool that I like them both. I mean, I truly do. Um, you probably get more looks in an LFA. Well, no, that's actually not true. You're gonna get more looks in that iRoad if you pull up to a stoplight than an LFA, trust me. This thing looks like, you know, like I don't you know, Star Wars or something like that. So, super cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments, and uh, I'll catch you next time.